congruent line segments. Look at the figure. Are the two butterfly the same? How about this two chocolate popsicles? Are they identical? How about this two slice of bread? Are they the same? If you place one slice of bread over the other, you will find that both the slices are of equal shape and size. The two figures are said to be congruent figures. The term congruent means exactly equal shape and size. Look at the figure. Can you measure the line segments? Are they the same? Since congruence implies equal shape and size, in geometry you will find the two line segments are said to be congruent if you will find that both lines are of equal distance or length. Since these line segments AB and line segments CD have the same length, we can say that they are congruent. Congruence is represented by this symbol, which mean the two figures are similar to each other based on their shape and size. Example Line segment EF is congruent to line segment GH. We can write it in symbol in this way. Line segment EF is congruent to line segment GH. Non-congruence is represented by this symbol. It was same with the congruence symbol and adding crossed out or slashed sign on center. Example Line segment IJ is not congruent to line segment KL. We can write it in symbol in this way. Line segment IJ is not congruent to line segment KL. Let us practice. Match column A with column B. Write the letter before the number. Remember, line segments with the same length and measurement are congruent. Activity 1. A. Using the figure below, write five pairs of congruent line segments. Use congruent symbol. Follow the example as your guide. Activity 2. A. Using a ruler, draw a line segment congruent to the line segment in each number. Activity 3. List down five pairs of line segments that are congruent. Enrichment Activity A. Draw line segments so you can make a Christmas star. Name the line segments that you draw.